All right, man. Uh, T.I. and WAC 100 uh, are going back and forth about uh, Nip being a legend, which is some of the most ignorant black thing you could go back and forth. This man, uh, you know, life should be celebrated and should be using the example as positive things. But now they back on this, you know, ignorant stuff and WAC 100 stay clout chasing off somebody dead name. Didn't have nothing negative to say about the man while he was alive, him or Tupac. But he got all this negative stuff to say, okay? But him and T.I. get into it. Um, he called T.I. the new 6 9 and T.I. clapped back. So let's talk a little bit about it. We back, Goodfellas Sports TV. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. But I want to say this before I get into the video. These old heads always trying to tell the young guys, oh, you shouldn't do this, or I wouldn't do this. Oh, y'all, y'all fooling on social media. But these old heads... They abuse social media and break the rules on social media more than young guys. Oh, Alpo, or, you know, they get to talking about, oh, I robbed this bank and I, I stabbed this dude down here. The statues of limitation up. They snitching and telling the stuff from 20, 30 years ago and telling the youth to stay off the Internet and social media and flash. And so at the end of the day, you can just tell this generation that that's here now and the one that's coming up, it ain't been in good hands. You know, the OGs ain't passed the game down the right way. But Wack 100 said, under the post where he posted uh, the Crime Stopper uh, interview T.I. did where he was asking citizens of Atlanta uh, to basically snitch. And a common man can snitch, all right? A common working citizen, they're not in the street. They, T.I., they said he had the bag, he had he had that work, he's a street dude. So as a street dude, you can never, you can never go back and say, well, I'm a common citizen and, and you should snitch. So that's why they call him T.I. snitch from this aspect. But... Wack 100 to, uh, put us to put that on the ground and put this under that. Before there was six, a 6 9, there was a TI legend. Trouble Man 31, you got my line. I'm not to be played with. Mind your business. Wack gives no Fs. I'm not a rapper. Okay, all these hashtags. Only legends get 12 months for 5,000 pills and 25 choppers. Now block that. And what he talking about is right, right before the BET Awards, TI got picked up by them people. Now you had guys like the Blue Da Vinci and people say, well, TI got them corporate people. TI ain't snitch. You got people that are saying T.I. snitched and they used the Crime Stopper video to show T.I. was a snitch. Then they go and post. Wack also posted when he was, you know, uh, testifying in his uh, his boys' uh, Fallant case in Cleveland, I think it was, where they got get Cleveland and Cincinnati mixed up, where they got shot at and T.I. took the stand. And that's public information. You can watch that video on YouTube. So people calling T.I. a snitch. So it is what it is. So, you know, uh, you know, at the end of the day, WAC 100 stay in the mix. You know, he stay looking for controversy. He was starting stuff with YG, and, you know, he started stuff with E-40, which he didn't want that problem with E-40. You ain't got to get him. E-40 ain't got to touch you to touch you. He kind of calmed that down. Um, That was over Blueface Future, but T.I. came back and said, until it's in my face, it's fake. The social media, it's get weird as, as fuck. However, my paperwork clean, presentable for any and all to pull up. And see, in real life, so ain't no back and forth. You way too old for this, sir. And I'm hashtag I'm way too rich. So, you know, at the end of the day, they going back and forth, not over, oh, you didn't pay my artist for a feature. Not over no business. You know, not over no no tour of fallout. Not over, oh, we made a bet on the Cowboys and the Hawks or something like that. Or the Rams and the Hawks. You didn't cash out my they they going off off a of man that should be celebrated. And allowed to rest in peace. They talking about who a legend and not. You don't see white people going and saying, oh, was Elvis a legend or not a legend? Was Elvis a legend or not a legend? Oh, you know, who's better, you know, Sting or Kiss? You know, you I mean, it was Kiss or, I don't know the rock bands, Kiss or Bon Jovi or, oh, you know, if Kirk Cobain and Kirk Cobain is the greatest, he was better than, he was better than Blink-180. You don't hear them going back and forth. This is only ignorant black people stuff right here. You know what I'm saying? And WAC 100 just got too much controversy. But you know what? When you allow people to talk to, talk like that and there ain't no consequences and repercussions, you know what I'm saying? He going to continue to talk reckless. So to, to somebody step to him, you know what I'm saying? And to somebody gorilla check him or make him feel it then, all he doing is getting popular off of T.I., getting popular off of, of Tupac name, and getting popular, you know, managing Blueface and and getting popular for cloud chasing. That's all he known for. Other than that, can't nobody tell him, nobody before, you know, this year can tell him what, what WAC 100 did. He ain't an artist. He a street. He used to be a blood, he claimed. Then they said he really from the valley or something like that. So you don't know what to believe. 
But under under that, T.I. captioned this. Famous guy, shut up, your music sucks, talents, idiot. Then when they meet him in person, oh my God, could you please sign my hoodie? I'm your biggest fan. He right. Yeah, he right. That's how it is. You know what I'm saying? And T.I. also went on and said another post that, that was a rebuttal um, to Wack 100. He says that you ain't got to sell, be number one album or sell a million records to be a hip-hop legend. You know what I'm saying? His impact and the effect that he had on people in the hip-hop community, I'm paraphrasing here, made him a hip-hop legend. And I definitely agree with that. And that was my stance on it. But I'm not about to go back and forth with Wack 100 and, and, and give him a, get him the clown to show he's looking for. It. You know what I'm saying? They way too rich. They way too much successful to be super down to Wack 100 voice. And how do you block out a guy like Wack 100? Stop listening to him. Stop asking him his opinion. Because he only doing that to people that's dead. He only doing it to Pac and, and Nip. Before Nip died, he had nothing to say about it. You know what I'm saying? He clown. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it boiled down to. You don't see T.I. snitch. Only T.I., the Lord of the Feds, know if he snitched or not. It don't bother me. I ain't bought, I ain't bought nothing from T.I. I ain't going to buy nothing from T.I. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't in the street game, so I ain't got nothing to worry about. Now, if I'm a guy that worked with T.I. on the streets and, and they saying he snitched, now I'm looking over my shoulder. Now I need to know. But other than that, don't really care. But y'all know what it is. Good for the sports TV. Let me know what you think about it. I just think it's the most ignorant black people thing ever to be doing this. Uh, don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business questions, call, response, your video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation? That link's in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. Check out music and entertainment playlists for more videos like this. And let me know what you got thoughts. Think in the comment section over this whole situation. One time for the one time. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow, Goodfellow Sports TV. We gone.